Hi everyone. Hello. Good evening and welcome to another episode of Online Encores. It's great to be here and to have you join us and we're so thrilled to bring you jazz tonight. Featuring two of our favorite festival jazz performers, pianists Adam Birnbaum and Aaron Deal. Yes, and Adam and Aaron have been with us for quite a lot of years. In fact, Adam joined us the year after John Patitucci inaugurated the jazz side of the festival in 2011. Adam and Aaron continue to inspire us and, and give us things to be surprised by with all of their original arrangements. So we'll start off with a set led by Adam and then a set led by Aaron and finish up with a fantastic performance that the two gave together in 2017. Sit back and enjoy these pieces featuring some of these incredible jazz performers that our festival audiences have come to enjoy and adore over the years. Thanks for joining us. Hello, this is Adam Birnbaum here, and uh, I'm really excited to be part of this online series with the Chelsea Music Festival. Um, I've gotten to be a big part of the festival over the last few years, and uh, it's very sad that we can't meet in person this year, of course. Um, but it's great that we can take advantage of technology and have a chance to revisit some of these moments in this way. So I'm really excited that this is being put together. Um, and thank you, Ken and Melinda, for always having the vision to find a way to make the festival happen, even this year, um, with all that's going on. So I'm going to introduce my Bach concert. Um, this was a concert where I featured Matt Closey and Keita Ogawa, and uh, we did a bunch of different stuff related to Bach. What you're going to see is three pieces. The first is my version of a Bud Powell composition, and it's actually a that Bud Powell composition is actually his version of a CPE Bach piece, a very famous piece, Solfeggio in C minor. Um, Bud Powell kind of plays around with that and turns it into his own thing. And I sort of decided to reinterpret Bud's reinterpretation of Bach. So you'll hear that. Then you'll hear my original composition, Trieste, which um, is uh, sort of like a two-part invention, I guess you could say. It has a bass line and a melody in the right hand that sort of uh, are a counterpoint to each other. So you can look at it as related to Bach in that way. And then finally, you're going to see my arrangement with strings and also special guest, Rogerio Bacato, who uh, happened to be able to join us that night, um, of Weinen, Klagen, Sorgen, Zagen. This is uh, a very serious piece from a Bach cantata that's very mournful. And uh, I sort of intentionally decided to change that and make it a sort of joyful samba celebration, perhaps a bit silly, but um, I thought it worked that way and it was a nice end to the concert. So you hear an arrangement for strings. Um, what's really nice about this particular performance, I think is it embodies some of the things that I really love about this festival, such as the collaborative efforts that we make um, in this particular one. Uh, Nigel Armstrong, who's playing violin for me, happened to say, oh, I like to improvise too uh, during the rehearsal. And so I said, great, why don't you take a solo? So we ended up giving him a chance to improvise as well. So we had a total fusion of the jazz and classical musicians coming together um, kind of spontaneously to do this. So I hope you enjoy.
Hi, this is Aaron Deal. I hope everyone is staying healthy and safe out there. And I wanted to share a few clips from the 2018 Chelsea Music Festival celebrating the music of Johann Sebastian Bach. Uh, the program that I put on was called Blues on Bach, which was uh, the name of uh, an album by the John Lewis and the Modern Jazz Quartet. And it featured the music of Bach, but also uh, blues that were written, uh, I think, mostly by Milt Jackson, the vibraphonist in the quartet. And uh, they played blues based on the name of Bach, B-A-C-H. And uh, this composition uh, that you're going to be hearing is uh, blues in C minor, and also uh, a composition uh, by John Lewis. It's a fugue and it's called Concord. Hope you enjoy, thank you very much, stay safe.
All right, blues in C minor. This is actually by Milt Jackson. Milt Jackson, give it up for Milt Jackson. All right. Warren Wolf. Hi, this is Adam Birnbaum. Hi, this is Aaron Deal, and uh, I have to say that I've had the pleasure of being a part of the Chelsea Music Festival family through Adam Birnbaum. I've known Aaron for years. He's one of my closest friends and associates in New York, and uh, we are mutual admirers of each other's work. Adam introduced me to Ken David and Melinda Mazur back in 2013. That's when I had 
my first performance with the festival, and I've been uh, back a number of times since. Adam and I finally collaborated in 2017. We had a great rhythm section of Peter Washington on bass and Quincy Davis on drums. And you're gonna see three selections. First is uh, George Gershwin's Prelude Number no. One in B flat major. He wrote a series of preludes that are sort of jazz influenced and we sort of amped up the jazz quality in this prelude and made our own arrangement with a lot more improvisation and a lot more freedom than the original composition gives the performer. Jelly Roll Morton's, the original Jelly Roll Blues. This is a really fun one where we just get to go back and forth and kind of throw ideas at each other, and kind of build up to a climax at the end there. And also Cedar Walton's Clockwise. It's not easy to get two pianos into a room. And so thanks to the Chelsea Music Festival for making this work by finding two beautiful Steinway pianos for us to play. And uh, it worked really beautifully in that space in St. Paul's. I think you'll hear that the, the balance and the clarity was really nice between the pianos. Hope you enjoy. Thank you. And now, as promised, we are bringing you part of this performance where Aaron Deal and Adam Birnbaum share the stage on two grand pianos, backed by a combo as well as other festival musicians during the course of the evening. And this was truly a sight to behold, and we hope that you enjoy it from wherever you are. And as a reminder, as we do after every episode of Online Encores, be on the lookout next week when we release a playlist including all of these episodes' selections so you can go back and rewatch all of your favorite pieces again and again and share with your friends. Thank you all for joining us and we look forward to seeing you again in two weeks.
My name is Adam Birnbaum. Thank you all for coming out. It's a very great pleasure to close out the festival this year. Um, we're going to be doing a program that's about a lot of different things uh, relating to time. And uh, what we started with was a very old piece that kind of relates to early jazz. It was actually written by George Gershwin more as a classical piece. And it's one of three preludes that we're going to be playing tonight. So we took that piece and the others you'll hear and we kind of made them a little more modern and uh, added some jazz elements that were not 100% in them and sort of flushed out the arrangements that Gershwin had. Um, so we'll be kind of showing how those pieces can be a little bit timeless and uh, elastic in the right hands. And uh, we're going to be playing music by primarily at the beginning George Gershwin and Jelly Roll Morton and it's part of a project that we've been working on to sort of bring these older works in jazz to life in a more modern setting. Um, I'd like to introduce now the great Peter Washington on the bass. And the equally great Quincy Davis on the drums. This is by Jelly Roll Morton and it's entitled Jelly Roll Blues, the original Jelly Roll Blues. Thank you. 
we're going to continue with a piece by another great pianist and composer named Cedar Walton. And uh, very different kind of a piece. This, I think, I don't know for sure about this either, but it's called Clockwise. And to me, you know, the musical uh, 12 tones can be related to the 12, uh, you know, the 12 hours of the day and the 12 pitches of a clock. And we often refer to a cycle of fifths, which looks just like a clock, and it's, it arranges all the notes around in a, in a circle. So I think this piece is more referring to the clockwise motion of the harmony because it moves harmonically from one key to another to another very seamlessly. And uh, it sounds natural, it's not very easy to play, but when you listen to it, you probably don't realize. Um, so this is Cedar Walton's Clockwise. Mm -hmm. 